Hey, Vinny Klaus here. Welcome back for more Let's Play Shante Risky's Revenge. Last time, we gained entry to the Hemel Baron's Lair. In this episode, after Shante is done having a farting attack, <laughs> yeah, I, I said, it seriously looks like Shante is farting of a storm here. <laughs> this episode, we're going to be continuing on through the Hemel Baron's Lair. After uh, my immaturity there, it's gonna break down these pots like a pan. And we got a little bit of a new mechanic here. Eyeball platforms! Yes, yeah, so this is actually going all along the um, theme of eyeballs. <laughs> yes, these um, platforms, yeah, they'll actually travel in the same direction that the um, people is actually facing. Which is actually really cool. Those are, those are the best platforms I've ever seen. Like, hands down. Okay. So, what we gotta do here is we gotta flip these switches around. I believe down up is what you want. Okay, I could be completely wrong on that. Wow. Uh. As I said, my memory in this is kind of. Meh, that's episode, but hey, I do love that the room is upside down. Hey, up, down, I believe it's the pain. Hey, sure enough it is! Did we do that? Tasty magic jam. Too bad we don't have any magic toast along with this magic jam. Okay, okay, I had to, I'm sorry. That joke was just begging to be made. I don't know why to make it sooner. Uh, whatever. <laughs> uh. Anyway, being zero is here. There's four rooms that you do and you need to go through. Yeah, in which case, you have to have both both switches facing the exact same way as the other switch. In which case, we have help people going up. Okay, the reason we need to do this is we have four rooms to go through. We got four keys we need to collect. Yeah. I can fail this platforming segment. Sure. Um. Uh. Anyway, we need, we need to take these lists upwards and just... Just kind of play a game here and... Yeah. We need to take these lists up. Smash pottery, because why wouldn't we at this point? Get our first of these. Key! Awesome! Sparkling rugby. Super shiny sparkling keys. Like, need more than money. Actually, probably five times I'm done with this dungeon. <laughs> Not gonna be any more money. Guess I'm gonna need actually get there. But moreover. Whoa! Case in point, when I say favoring monkey. Okay, monkey isn't necessarily needed here, but I do find this area to be easier as a monkey at times. I think we have to go for all the, um, pots. And even then, we don't need the platform for very long. <laughs> he says after he loses the platform, wow. Can my claim be any worse, please? Okay. I don't think that one is actually, I think we can out, actually. I don't think the last one is actually even needed. On there, thank you. <laughs> no, these aren't even needed. Okay. Good to know. I'll, I'll, I'll leave this around here. Watch. Yeah, you're surfing at the speed of light. Yeah, it's basically just looking to get back here, but I love just how fast that goes. It's incredible. Okay, you actually gotta drop down here and. Use the platforms to get back up. It's kind of the same thing. You know, we have base. We need to back up. When we were ascending. Just now we gotta actually... Come first, thank you. And go, yeah, it's kind of... Whoa! Unfortunately, there's no way to actually... Monkey it. Monkey this right up there. We absolutely have to use this. Yeah, I don't know why those walls are climbable. It looks like it should climb up, doesn't it? 
Oh well, like, I guess Mr. Bowson has his, has his reasons. I guess. Like, maybe he'll start to check the dragon. I don't know. Well, he's still discussing these walls here. Well, probably there's not much left to talk about me. We're just using these platforms to go up, down, and all around. Up, down, and all around. Okay, just come on, hurry up. There we go. Okay, both eyes are facing left. Okay, this isn't necessarily required that you do this, but it is really helpful. And personally, I'm just all for playing this as they intended. Of course, I'm not sure if they only intended for you to just use lucky form and utterly break this area hardcore. That's exactly what I'm doing. Oh, fuck me running. They actually thought of that. Wow. Okay, so you do need a platform here. But hey, I can actually break it by using the... Nope. Can't use the monkey bullet to just tease your way through this. Nope. You actually need a platform. Because those spikes. Yay. Whoa. Go me. Got to the editing process and already I'm cranking hardcore. Okay, right up ahead though. You do need to time this, sort of. Fuck you, platform, I don't The Fourth and final key. Surfing! Surfing in the USA! Carried away, then I got knocked off. Whoa! Okay, I'll take it. No complaints. Okay, now you want your, and now you want the eyes to face away from each other horizontally, facing each other. I meant. Wow, I'm really bad at remembering this area. Okay. Reason you want to go through here. These pots. This corridor of locked doors. Even if you have the combination. Go through this area. It is so generous with gems. Again, this dungeon as a whole is actually really gem ah, generous with gems. Come on, open the door, thank you. Okay, now you want to remember this combination. Right, right, left, up. It's, it's pretty much always going to be this combination, that's, that's kind of why I'm saying you don't necessarily need to go through all those rooms and get those keys. But it is, it is very helpful for you, so you get a lot of money going through here. Facing right. Let's input that code. You only need to change two of these, which is awesome. And yep. You got it. We are getting a new ability. Last one of the three in this game. Who purchased my magic fountain? I sense a restless energy deep inside you. Channel your passions and allow your allow the magic to take shape. The mermaid dare. So what you're gonna do is dance in the third dance position. All you're gonna do is just swim. Yeah. You have a swim focus ability and a climb focus ability. So two forms can attack. Wonderful. 
but I really do like this form a lot, actually. Uh, just this, this, this looks really nice, and the fact that we can turn into a mermaid, we can just swim in deep depths. Also, that right there. We can't, we cannot get to that at the moment. I know, I know, Shante can't impress her name, which is why I'm spazzing out over it. Yeah, we definitely, definitely want to keep this in mind for later, shall we say? As yeah, we're gonna need to come back for it. Okay, now we got the mermaid dance in hand. Where, where else to go? Where else is it to go? Back to backtrack. There we go. It's just one of this. Where did it go? Find faster by jumping. Okay, now we want to have this set of eyes, um, winking at us, sort of. So I'm gonna say we'll hold these, hold these eyes open at this point. Because the area that was too dumb to... Go towards... Early? Can I, can I actually... Can I, I, I've done this before, can I actually... Fuck it. Alright, platform, you win, I'll use you. Fine. Can I stop pulling? Oh, you know what? Fuck you, platform! Haha! <laughs> okay, admittedly, that, that is actually a really difficult thing to pull off, but I can. <laughs> high five to you. Virtual high five. Yeah, right, that's even possible. Alright. I don't need any money. I just wanna go and grab this anyway, just because I can. Yeah. Okay, so turns here and we have here. We have a piece of a skull. Yeah. Specifically the bottom half. This layer or not is actually the key to get to the hypno parents lair. Or specifically where the Hypno Baron resides. Yeah, this is really, really crafty. This, this also adds points to this being my favorite dungeon of all. The fact that you gotta assemble a skull, which is basically the key to the boss room. You get much more badass than that. You don't. Using a skull. As the boss rump entry. I just can't say how good about this dungeon. It's amazing. That right there is a cementing point for that. Okay. So, as you may notice, we gotta backtrack all the way here. Because there's actually one room. Back in the beginning of the dungeon that we have yet to explore. It is actually what we need. Top of the the platform of all these lanterns as a monkey. There we go. Okay, now you want the eyeballs to be facing left this time. As yep, we got some water to cross. Cross. That's what I'm saying. 
Splendor. Do that. What's the, um, yeah. Really, we don't have any resistance up here. Oh well. You can smash innocent pottery all we want! Ha ha ha! Got down here is that important chest I mentioned, which is the top half of the skull. Yep, we now officially have access to the Hypno Baron's Lair. Yeah, short game, isn't it? curse, but still a lot of fun to be playing. Uh, I'll tell you what happened. I'll be waiting for the fucking platform. Uh, uh, you saw me land on that. I clearly landed on that. How did I go through? I ain't gonna do it without fancy schmancy tricks. Silly rabbit. Tricks are for kids. <laughs> uh, you can know that was coming. Sorry. Okay, I don't trust my lucky because it's boss, so I'm gonna save right now. When I say this boss, of course, I obviously need the Hypno Baron. Alright, you see this picture of a skull? That's where we want to use it. Use the skull. Okay. All we got is a slime there. Underwhelming security for the boss store. Get it, it, it. What's inside? <laughs> you must be the genie looking for the magic seals. Yes. That's right. You have two. And now you're here for the final one. You outsmarted risk boots. You are very, very smart. You will never be able to restore the magic lamp now. You are a hero. The town's people will thank you. Is this a mind game? We got something to say. Say it. Yeah, out with it. But your uncle, he's keeping secrets from you. What do you know about that? What does the slam do anyway? Ha <laughs> Information that valuable is not given away for free. But if you have what it takes to destroy your uncle, then you deserve to know the chance. Ah! Lamp's true power! Oh, I said something off color during a let's play. Oh. Yeti! You might look like him, but you're not my uncle. Give me everything you got. Okay! The Hypno Baron. This guy is interesting. He'll basically take the form of Uncle Mimic. And he'll just warp around. Depending on where you are in the battlefield, determines his um, mixture attack. He also has, as well, finger gun, as you, as you, can, as you can see. If you're on the ground, his mix are all emit shock waves. If you are overground, he will emit a fire spray. Which is all gonna say fire spray. Anyway, right, he's gotta keep moving. And yeah, if you can outpredict his movements, that'd be that'd be uh, uh, if I can actually talk and get her out there. That is, a, that is a very valuable technique to try to outpredict his movements. But, at the same time, they do find his movements to be kind of unpredictable. Also, if you're quick enough, you can just out outright cancel his attack before you can chance to launch it. You can also appear on the ground, which case you'll always fire the handgun. That's the part of not even trying, handgun! Because he's actually using his hand 
Forming as a gun and firing a shot. <laughs> okay. That is like that right there. You can actually cancel his interest to serve by attacking him before he gets anything to that off. And he gets a total of the first of low. Okay, now can you see that? Okay, after a certain point in this fight, he will get faster. So keeping up with him is going to be very difficult. Also, having Mega Pike Ball, having Flamethrower around is also a good idea. And just knocking around. I'm feeling like starting to get close to the game, actually. Yeah. He's beating up, therefore I'm actually getting close to beating him. Are you done already? Damn! I was worried for nothing! <laughs> Man! When I fought through my practice run, I died a few times. I- Man! That's really sucked. And yeah, you just keep hopping back and forth around you. Like, while he's just a skull, he can't possibly hurt you, so all you gotta do is just... Boink! <laughs> Damn, he went down easy! Bye, sweet music. I'll miss you. Shame we won't get to hear this music after this point. I very much doubt it's gonna make a return in Hakini Hero. Which, honestly, I'm a big take that's got four delays in a row. Yeah, baby! That's strange. I like all the magic seals I have expected Risky was to make a grab for that's why Ted's gives him to Uncle Mimic's port. He's got back in Skull Town. Yeah. Unfortunately, because Risky didn't make a grab for them, it's kind of troublesome to say the least. I mean, something. Yeah, Risky Boots is definitely planning something big. Okay, I need a heal now! Okay. So we need to do him. Uh, well, nothing we can do now, but I can scout now. However, when we enter. Mimic isn't even here! Yeah! Just gone. Because uh, before I go any further, there is one thing I do want to get from that shop. Ye old shop. It's important to find mimic. But uh, there's actually something I do want to grab here for now. That's not the Zipka cream because I don't have the um, magic cam. We are not actually the Mega Puff. Yeah, I wanted to grab that now. Yeah, we now have pretty much full majority. We have pretty much every attacking item in the game. Yeah, the Mega Puff. That's all it does. There's a greater blast radius. But yeah. Sky and Bolo. Shante, there you are. We were looking all over for you. What's going on? Where's Uncle Mimic? Not gonna like this. We found a ransom down in, in, in his workshop. No. Take a look.
Maybe you should sit down. No, please read it. Ms. Gibbard says he took your uncle and will trade his life for the three magic seals you've got. He's hanging out in the lamp's original resting place somewhere east of here. Do you know what do you know what she's talking about? Poor uncle, poor uncle. This is all my fault. East? That means it's over by the Bolo. Can you really not tell east from west? Uh, I guess to be fair, I've gotten my lefts and rights mixed up a few times, so I really can't get mad at Bolo for this. Don't be stupid. I'll put him near put him near the old boathouse. Moran doesn't know east from west. Give him a break. Not everybody can get left and right, east and west down pat. Yeah, baby. Please don't argue. I need help coming up with a plan. I can help. Scraper coming to help us, yes! Who's this guy? You got it all wrong. Let's keep a sit and take your old friend. Where's that zombie gal? Right, Tops. She'd never. Besides, why should I believe you? You need to explain it and didn't you explode in it you secrets secrets <laughs> Not today. Yeah, I love you more than ever. Yep, Scraburn. Now Shante. Whose turn is it now to break the fourth wall? Ha <laughs> ha Hey, don't blame me for putting up a fight. The pirate lady was threatening me and my babies if it didn't hand over my magic seal. You really shook things up, and now my kids have went off. Whatever, whether you believe it or not, the zombie girl and pirates are in cahoots, and that's a fact. It sounds fishy. <laughs> Why did you come here? Why? Well, Cause strike a deal, naturally. Miss Boots will be expecting to fight you on her terms. The back door to her hideout that may just give you an advantage. You get to save my three golden babies, I'll show you how to open the path to Risky's hideout. Hmm. Either way, she knows I'm coming. What do you guys think? Risky's hideout is underwater. The rest can't do squat for you. Man has to dress this guy. That BS tinker. Maybe because he's an octopus. Or squid. I think he's telling the truth. Okay, you got yourself a deal. Where do I start? The babies are probably hiding under the sea. Under the sea. You're going to see caverns close by. One of them has an artifact that will help you enter the back door to Risky's lair. Let's get this done quickly. Uncle Mimic needs me. Yes, as, as much of, a, of an urgent situation as this is, I think we made enough progress this episode. We've taken down... Hit the Hypno Baron, got the third magic seal, unfortunately, um, in the process, learned about a ransom note. So, next time on Let's Play Dante Risky's Revenge, we're gonna be looking for the three golden babies to get the artifact to help us break into Risky's lair, alright? See you guys then. Hang on to your boots, Risky Boots, cause we're coming for ya!